It was just about a year ago today that I started the Pursuit of a 10 series. And what this series is all about is number one, learning how to become a better big blue angler. And number two, obviously I wanna catch a 10 inch bluegill. Now to this point, we filmed seven episodes and I can tell you that I've definitely accomplished my first goal. I am getting better at these big bluegill. I am learning a lot about this species. And while I still have a lot, a long ways to go as an angler, I feel really good about myself. Now, the second goal on the other hand, we've caught some nine inch bluegills, but we have not caught that 10. So today, my friends, we are picking back up on the pursuit of a 10. The goal is simple, 10 inch bluegill. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If not, we've got plenty of fishing trips ahead of us. So let's get started. I failed to mention that we're fishing with little Bill here. How's it going? <laughs> we're gonna get on some big old slab daddies today. All right. Shout out to Bill. Honestly, I, I gotta give him credit, you know. The only reason I'm fishing this body of water, I actually drove quite a ways to get here, is because he knows, historically, this has solid populations of gills and the fish tend to get pretty big. So, I have nothing but confidence the fish exist. The question is, can we make them bite? Now, this, you know, late May right now, going into June, and this really should be the time of year where they get on beds. And, you know, that was strategic. I wanted to get out here at the highest likelihood. You know, these big bluegill, are definitely at their best during the spawn. Now you can obviously catch them all year long, but it gets a lot harder. So I wanted to make sure I hit this window because this window is as important as any. Anyways, um, we're just gonna start with the uh, 132nd ounce white mule jig with a white horse fly. I wanna be able to see it. I figure the bluegill will like that white color. We'll find out. It's really overcast today. Probably gonna get rained on today. And uh, I figure the white will just uh, allow them to see a little bit better. Who knows? Always just used. Here's one. No way. Oh, that's a little, little bass. bass. <laughs> that's a little bass and bill right there. Knocked the uh, skunk out of the boat, though. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's right. We're on the board, baby. All right. Yeah. I got my uh, fishing guide here. <laughs> There's one. All right, there's plenty of fish around. Seems feels, decent. Feels decent. Not a 10 incher uh, no. by any means, but nice little fish. Nice little respectable gill. Beautiful fish, that's the target species. Now, can we catch this fish's grandmother? <laughs> Bill Man is on the board. That one feels... Better. Oh yeah, look at that one. Yeah. yeah, that looks like a nice one. Oh Lord. Oh baby. No, oh, are no. you kidding me? Daggummit. I don't think it was a 10 incher, but yeah. it was a nice fish. Well, missed my biggest fish of the day and that was definitely a big male. That's wonderful. Another one. Oh, that one's... Another good one. That's just as big as the last one. All right, we're not missing this one though. Oh, oh baby. Give me that fish, baby. <laughs> that's the species. That's what we're looking for right there. We got to measure this one. Yeah, that's an eight and a half, eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarter male right there. That is exactly the kind of fish that you want to see. And I can't handle them worth a hoot. And we got Bill back here with another, another like nice seven one. Seven inch. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Place has potential. Thanks, Bill. Can't believe you're not filming, Bill. If you guys don't know, Bill has a wonderful YouTube channel. He's a big bass hunter, but you know, he likes to get out and play around with gills and stuff from time to time. So fortunately he uh, he spent the day with me. How's the tournament season going so far? Going it looks like it looks like you've been doing just fine based on First what I'm seeing. First or second in every derby so far. First or second in every derby so far, just Seriously. casual, just normal. How many have you fished? Five. You're five. Five, just five. Fish five tournaments, first or second in all of them. No worries. Now folks, there's some major crater action and Bill just pulled one off. And my friends, this is looking like a dandy. You got him? Oh, buddy, you should measure that fish. That's a nine plus. What did I say? Nine inch gill, huh? I'm calling it nine, even though it's technically eight, eight and, eight and 15 sixteenths. Eight and 15 sixteenths for Bill. Gotcha. Good one. I don't think it's a 10, but it sure does look nice. He's around a freaking pad stem. <laughs> no, get off that pad stem. Oh, these pad stems are going to be the... Is he off? Oh, he is, I think. Dude! No. Yeah. There's a single, there's one pad stem. There. He somehow wrapped me, and that, my friends, is why I should have used a flipping stick and uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Yeah, now I'm stuck. Well, that's okay. I've got a second rod. We're just going to leave that guy right there because I'm not going to screw up these beds. God bless, dude. These are some megas. These are big ones. Guys, these are freaking megas. That is a nine over nine inch bluegill. Nine and like a sixteen. Oh, gosh dang it, I wasn't I'm paying sorry. attention. I'm over here admiring Bill's fish and my flow is just hanging under the water. Dad, gum it. We've got a freaking opportunity right now, folks. We have got an opportunity. 
and I'm still just waking up. Like I just got my coffee done, but I kind of feel like I need another coffee. Got him. Got him? Yeah, there we are. Biggie? Now let's get him out of the pad stems. <clears throat> that's not gonna no, be that's a 10. A little one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little one for this bed. Golly, they pull so hard. I love them. Nice. He's got a dump truck, boys. He's got a dump truck. Whoo! <laughs> How do you like that? God bless. That. Like There's a lot of bodies of water where this would be like the absolute alpha. This is an eight and three quarter, just shy of nine. And this in a lot of bodies of water that I've fished so far would be the King Kong. And the fact that it's not here tells you that this is a premier body of water right here. Love to see it. See so, you, buddy. And uh, there he is. Oh, baby. I picked up my line. I noticed that it wasn't quite moving right. And I'm telling you, just keeping your eye on that line. And this is two pound mono, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's so important, so important. When you're fishing these lightweights, you're not always gonna feel that bite. This one's fighting super hard, super hard. And it's not even as big as some of these others. It's another really quality fish. <sighs> Guys, I'm telling you, every single bluegill is a trophy. We're gonna get that 10 today, I believe. I truly believe because they're on, and this is the perfect time of season to get them. All right, well, I'm starting to wake up a little bit, man. The bluegill are, they're better than coffee. That's better than Folgers right there. Ooh, God, I love just seeing that white horse fly disappear. No, 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 no. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't you do that. He looks smaller, but I don't know if he is. He's tugging, I mean, he's not a bad one. He's just a little deeper right now, so it's hard to say. People think bluegill are just such a little kid fish. I'm telling you, they're not. Like, they can be so much fun. You God. You know, he's an eight and a half incher. And there's a lot of people that dream of far more interesting things, but this is pretty much what I dream about every single night. Just big bull gills. There you go, Bill. What's Bill got? It's funny, it's like you, you catch each one of these and they just like, okay, it's just another massive freaking gill. <laughs> we haven't it's caught like, a small one out of these beds yet. That's so worth a trip to the board, my friends. Oh. Oh, that's our closest yet. Nine, that's a nine and a, a half. Nine and I, hold up. That is a nine and a half inch fish, my friends. We're going to get a 10 today, I think. I'm just casting that horsefly up there and I'm keeping an eye on my line, but I'm also keeping an eye on that white horsefly. If I can see it and if I see it disappear, then I know something probably just slurped it up. You remember when I was mad about that first fish I lost? <laughs> and then we came up here and we caught even bigger ones? And it doesn't matter anymore. And that, my friends, is a nine inch bluegill. It's a nine inch bluegill. Oh, that's a big one though. He's got a five head, dude. It's yeah, Peyton Manning. Got, yeah, it's a... freaking Peyton Manning. <laughs> oh boy. Look at his freaking five head. Oh. He, if, if he was as long as he is tall, then my goodness. Right. Oh, he's another nine. Two nines in a row, my friends. Two nines in a row. <laughs> okay, so a nine and Probably. Right, Mine's bigger. Yeah, Mine's bigger. I tell you what, we're going to take a quick little break from this bed. Well, first and foremost, because we've already plucked a lot of the gills. But secondly, there's like 10 ducks going hard uh, over there doing some weird stuff. Don't know what's going on exactly. But the point is, today is off to one heck of a start. Probably my quickest success with bluegill fishing yet. And I honestly got to give credit to my friend Bill here. Um, it's been fun so far. You know, we've caught numerous eight plus. We've caught a couple of nice nines. Bill caught a nine and a half. So we're literally 95% of the way there, the way I see it. Um, so we're gonna probably go try to find some more bedding areas, try to catch some more big gills. And I trust there's definitely gonna be a 10 incher here. The question is, can we find them? And if we find them, I trust that it'll eat because right now they're aggressive and they're ready to eat. So fingers crossed, my friends, this is so much fun. This is exactly what I needed. And uh, I'm excited to keep it going. This was just like a little, you know, a little appetizer, a little appetizer, a couple of eights and nines. <laughs> we'll go find the biggest. Oh my gosh, dude. That is so many beds. Oh, I love it when they visually, he's coming right up. Oh, dude, yeah. this might be him. Can you get that in your yeah. head? Yes, come to the open water. Yes, come to the open water. <laughs> don't, don't eat it. Oh, I think that's him, dude. I don't know how that's not. <laughs> This is a mega. This is a mega. It's a mule, man. It is a mule. Oh, it's a nine and just oh. under a nine and a half. But he's so tall and he's so big. Just giants. What? Jumbos, dude. See ya, buddy. Oh my gosh, thank you. Whew. Oh, just another cool nine and a half. <laughs> we just need more bodies of water like this. Mm -hmm. 
we need more bodies of water that treat their bluegill like this. Oh my gosh. Like this is the biggest spawning pod. And that is a freaking nice one. This is the biggest spawning pod I've seen in Michigan. And they're all megas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not even worth measuring, you know? It's like probably only eight and a half. Pointless. <laughs> Michigan tanks. Michigan brutes. Almost called them a little one. Though. Uh, yeah, that might be a measurable. Oh my gosh, a bass. No, no, that's not a bass. I thought it was a bass. That's a Donkey Kong. That's a Donkey Kong. Oh, <laughs> this is like what I've been wanting. So, dude, it might be a 10 incher. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh my God, I need that. I need that measure. That has to be close. Nine and a quarter. I'm starting to get too excited. I don't even know what I'm gonna do when I catch a 10 incher, if I catch a 10 incher. This is the most productive trip for bluegill I've ever had, I think. All right, see you, girl. Oh. Got him. <sighs> I'm not even gonna measure that fish because I don't think it's 10, but by golly, is it a nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a bass. I see that. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> I love sight it's fishing so, so, so freaking much. <laughs> Gotta love sight fishing bass, man. I was trying to sight fish a bluegill. Daggone bass come in hot. He's got it. Got him. I love sight fishing so much, and that is a really, really, really nice fish. Oh, God. That's a pumpkin seed. I was wondering why it was isolated. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is the biggest pumpkin seed of my life. <laughs> That's beautiful, dude. There was an isolated fish, and I was like, why is there an isolated fish? Like, he was off the other beds, and he was in, like, a little more gravelly-looking spot. And it's the biggest pumpkin seed I've ever caught. It's so freaking fat. Eight and a half inch pumpkin seed. The thing about pumpkin seed is they're built so much thicker. Yeah. And they're typically taller. So an eight and a half inch pumpkin seed is an absolute trophy. Like that's a pure pumpkin too. That's not a hybrid. I'm telling you folks there, that's a good way to release them, I guess. But holy smokes, I didn't even know there was any in here because I hadn't seen any yet. And I haven't seen any hybrids. And usually if there's pumpkin seed, there's gonna be a few hybrids in the mix. And it's all been pure gills so far. So to catch that fish is really exciting to me. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, am I like mistaking or is this potentially it? Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> Where's the, other? oh, there it is right behind me. Well, we'll give her a measurement, huh? Nine and a quarter. Every time I hook a nine and a quarter, I think I've got my 10. And man, we still got a little ways to go. <sighs> Love it. You know what's awesome about this too? This, released. I love these fish, man. I love when they turn sideways and they've got so much weight to them because they're so big. Like, this fights harder than a bass on standard tackle any day of the week. I don't care who you are. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hoorah! That's just a measly eight. That's a little one, yeah, that's a baby. Freaking tiny. Get them out. We should probably harvest this fish. Selective harvest. Ooh. Billy boy, you just beat me. It's the crazy. Billy Boys. It's crazy. Is that a nine and three quarters, Bill? That is a nine and three quarters. Bill's got fish of the day so far, Dang, boys. Nine dude. and three quarters. That's crazy. We are approaching the goal. We're just moving and grooving because we uh, we fished those other ones dry for the most part. So we're just going to keep our eyes peeled, try to fish some deeper beds, see if we can't find one of those true alphas. For the money, no. Oof. I love that first like drag peel. Set the hook. Turn sideways and it's a lot of resistance, my friends. When you've got a nine inch fish that turns sideways and has that tall of a body shape, they get to be a pretty hard fighting deal. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, Donkey Kong. Looky there. That's nine and a half. One of my biggest for the day. Nine and a half, my friends. Yeah, that's a really nice fish. And he's got it down his gullet, dude. Buddy, buddy, this might, this might. It might, it might not. Dude, it's small, dude. It's a nine and a quarter. He's tiny. Dang, it's a baby. Nines all day. It's only a matter of time before Bill cracks a 10 and then I go home without one. It's just how it's gonna be. This is Bill's lake. 
<laughs> yeah, it's Bill. See, that one is. That's an alpha male, She's a dude. tall one, though. That's a, I don't know if it's going to be 10, yet. but it's a freaking yeah, alpha male. All those tall ones just make it look like there's something. It's a, I mean, it's a bully, dude. That's a, probably one of the heaviest fish we've caught. Yeah, that's a stacked, dude. That's just like a uh, beefcake. It's, like it's a nine and a quarter, but like, like you said, he's tall and he's mm. fat. Another day, another donkey, huh? See ya, Bob. Oh my gosh. Nine and a quarter. Lots of nine and a quarters, nine and a halves. See you, buddy. Oh, I do have a big loop in my line. Daggummit. Oh, what? Did you break off? Yes, because my I just yeah, noticed my line. Yeah, I had some kind of weird twist. And it broke right at that twist. Yep. Oh. That one didn't oh, mind. There, I switched rigs because I just broke off because I had some sort of messed up line. I might need to respool that reel at some point. And uh, I've got a little slip float rig with a 1.2 inch mule minnow. And we just caught a nice one. Again, that's a really healthy fish. And I'll tell you, that's fun right there. Watching that float go under for something like that, that's all right. It's all right by me. Now the first beds we fished, the float rig just didn't seem to produce the bites, but that one ate it immediately. So we're gonna test it out and see if I can get a couple more bites. See you, bud. Whew. The nice thing about the slip float rig is I can definitely cast it oh, about yeah. as far as far as I'd ever need to. Get it. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, yes, 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 yes. Give me that. Hey, oh, I mostly was mad because I lost my freaking horse by. I felt bad. I don't care about the line. I'll put that in my pocket and bring it home. Dumpster. And thankfully, uh, Bill hooked it. So now I can dispose of this line properly and he can, you know, reel in that giant bluegill behind me. And I can re rig my uh, horse fly. Sweet. Another slip float beauty. Oh, baby. Ooh. This is what the potential of a lot of Michigan lakes is, right here. This can happen in Michigan lakes. This is a possibility. But we kind of have to just treat our bodies of water the right way to get this. Oh, yep, oh, yep. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> oh, I just saw it move just so slightly. I'm like, you know what? I'm sending it. I'm going to freaking hammer on this one. <laughs> she had it. God, that was fun. I love setting the hook on a float rig. It's just so fun. Oh my gosh. Bertha, what are you doing here? Oh, cool oh. Bertha, who invited you? I don't care, Bill. I know you're a bass guy, you're a tournament guy, and that's probably where the thrill is for you. But I'll tell you, this is about as much fun as I could have asked for. All right, I'm going to re rig my other rod because I definitely think that while the float rig is fun to fish, it just does not draw the same level of action as a drifted plastic. Here he comes. He's got it. Got him. <laughs> I think it's a pumpkin. It is. it is a pumpkin. It is. It's another good one. About the same as the last one almost. Maybe not quite as big as the last one. It's the freaking gorgeous critter right there. Okay, folks, I tell you what, I don't even know how to edit this video because it's just been fish after fish after fish after fish and all of those fish have been really, really high quality. And I'm telling you, that is, that is fun. That's just fun. Like I could take anyone here and they would have a good time. They can be like a member of PETA. I, I think they would have fun with this. This is incredible. Um, I don't know where we're going with this, man. I think I, at this point, we're just gonna continue to hunt down beds, look for those big ones, and just hope that a 10 incher bites because we've caught multiple nine and a quarters, a couple nine and a halfs. I mean, we're right there. Bill cut a nine and three quarters. We're right there. Um, the only thing that I don't know is behind me. I don't know if you can see this, but the sky is very gray and it's very cloudy and I know rain is in the forecast. So the question is, how long will we get to fish? If we get to fish a good portion of this day, I like to think it might just happen. But if we get rained out of here, if it starts pouring on us, it might be hard, especially because all of this is sight fishing. So the less uh, visibility we have, the less ability we're gonna have to catch fish. Anyways, having lots of fun, I can tell you that much. Got him. Oof, da. Freaking donkey. Oof. Yeah, love it. See ya. Got him. <laughs> there were some good ones up there. Too. Yeah, bless. Whew. Come on, we gotta get the tenor. We gotta get the tenor. Doubling up. We're back, baby. We're back. This one's swimming right at me. He actually is pretty couple. big. I know, that's what the last couple that did. Whew. There's some big ones up there. 
Nice one. All right. Another healthy guy. He's tall. Bulbous creature. Look at that. It's a freaking dinner plate. Look how tall this fish is, people. Another beefcake. Donkey Tail Jr. Pasture fire. 164th ounce fire red mule jig. There he is. Ooh. I like the way this one's pulling. Oh, it's just another mega, but I just don't know if it's going to do it. It is fighting like it wants to be 10. I don't know what it's going to be, though. Isn't that kind of part of the fun? You see an absolute mega coming up and you have no idea. And this one, my friend Bill. Nine and a quarter. It's, uh, a, it's a big donkey domer. This fish is over nine and a half, pushing nine and three quarters. Uh, I'm so close, guys. So close. Whew. See you, buddy. Fish came right at me. Freaking freaks of nature, my friend. When a bluegill pulls like that and your drag streams like that, you know you're on something nice, something special. Nine and a quarter. Oh my gosh, I saw that eat. I saw that eat. That was incredible. I just went from a nine and a half to a nine and a quarter. And what's this? This is something special too. We're going down in size. Nine and a half, nine and a quarter, nine. We're so dang close, guys. So dang close. It's such a funny feeling because you're like so incredibly excited about the, the incredible fish that you're catching with every cast. But at the same time, like there's a level of like disappointment in the sense that you haven't got that one fish you're on a mission for. And it's like, I can't be disappointed. This is incredible. I have to just enjoy this. But it's just like, it's almost, it's hard to uh, not see these fish and be like, how? How are you not just a half inch longer? Bill and I are both just popping them. And every single one of them is over eight inches. Beautiful fish. Nine and a half. Nine and a half, my friends. Another nine and a half. Whew. We're one half inch away on almost every fish. This is a special fishery, Bill. <laughs> Another one. Oh. Nine and a quarter. My goodness, these fish are plentiful. Nice. Yeah, you got a nice, oh my God, dude, that's 10. That's gonna be a close that's 10. one. That's 10. That's gonna be a close one, dude. That's 10. Ooh. <laughs> dude, I think, that, I think that's it though. Nine and three quarters nine again. Nine and three quarters. Oh, well, if his is nine and three quarters, then mine is probably about nine. Dang. Oh. That's All right, Bill's caught two, nine and three three quarters three. today. Meanwhile, I'm over here just like, you know, catch a nine and a half. <laughs> Another. Y'all, there are some megas here. Just megas. Our average size fish is literally like probably nine inches. It's just an incredible feeling. Every single one of these fish is just a blast. I mean, the, guys, this is like the, basically I would say this is the equivalent of catching 20 inch bass all day long. 20 inch bass. A master angler bass in Michigan, 22 inches. Master angler bluegill, 10. And you know what we're catching? <laughs> nine and a halfs. Nine and three quarters. Eight and a halfs. Nines. <gasps> These fish all day long is the equivalent of four and five pound bass all day long. No joke. <laughs> that just never gets old, dude. When you just crack one, you go. Know, <laughs> Another day, another fish. Right. It's a bass. Got a perch. Whoa, whoa, perch. that's a big perch. Buddy, that's a perch. Big old perch. That's a freaking huge perch, dude. <laughs> Give me that measuring board. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's, yeah that's an 11. I think I caught a 13 this year. That's a really long fish. Look at that fish. That's a beauty. That's a healthy fish. That's a seven striper. <sighs> Guys, I don't even know what to do with this video. I'm telling you, it's like literally we've caught so many fish. I'm sure you guys don't care to watch me reel in eight to nine to nine and a half pushing 10 inch bluegill over and over and over again, but I don't know what else to tell you. This is this is exactly what, I'm, what I want to do with my day. And I'm just going to make it a long video of pure bluegill madness. That's what I'm going to do. And you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to, but I, I sure do appreciate when you do. Now there, yeah, there's got to be some sort of situation out here <laughs> some sort of situation out here that oh. looks big that looks big it sure does it's a fatty dude. oh my gosh oh my god oh. that's a fat that's a big pregnant one mm. 
Look at that. Look at that belly. Oof. It's a female. God bless this lake. <laughs> <laughs> this is my kind of lake right here. 164th ounce fire red mule jig. Donkey tail junior pasture fire. Freaking donkey that's just loaded. Oh. Okay. God. I've got some really graceful Such releases elegant today. Releases. Just, just wonderful. Just like 10 out of 10. <laughs> I another one. Oh my gosh. Bill, what have you done to me? You've ruined bluegill fishing for me. I can't go anywhere else and have fun now. This is a mega. Nine and a quarter. And he's tall. Probably as tall of any fish that I've caught. Look at that. Just a circle. Circular. Great genetics, man. Great genetics in this lake. You just pulled a crappie off of bluegill beds. <laughs> What kind of fisherman are you? you got perch and crappie mixed in. <laughs> yeah, you got a random perch and crappie trying to join in in the action. Oh, one just, yep. So my line just took off. Another specimen. Welcome to the boat. I think I've gone every single cast <laughs> for probably 15 casts. I feel. I, it's going nuts. Like I have just, we're in just a mega, 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 mega bedding area. Yeah, it's too short. Another one. Ah, that fish is freaking pulling, baby. That's a fish I like to catch any day of the week. Two-hander. The old two-hander mammer jammer. Nine and a half. I tell you what, at this point, I don't even really know what you've watched. I've probably edited out a lot of fish because, well, that's why. I mean, we're literally, we've caught probably a hundred fish between the two of us. And I would say the average size gill is probably eight and three quarters, close to nine inches. The funny thing is all of these nine and a half and nine and three quarters. And yet for some reason, there's no 10 inchers. It's just like, it's almost feels like some sort of sick joke. My goal is a 10 incher and what do I do? Catch 25 nines? Are you kidding me? I'd rather have one 10, let's go. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm actually, I've had so much fun today. I, I would definitely rather catch 20 nines than one 10, but for the sake of the goal, for the sake of the show, we gotta get the 10, man. And if we don't, that's okay. I'm just thankful to get the opportunity to fish this body of water. I doubt I get to fish this body of water again anytime soon. You know, Bill's a busy guy, I'm a busy guy. It's not every day I get to drive down here and fish with Bill. So, uh, you know, if it's gonna happen, I need to make it happen is what it comes down to. And if it doesn't, then we'll find another body of water and we're gonna make it happen there. Anyways, I'm gonna keep having fun because I've caught a lot of fish, but I would like to catch some more. Horsefly, huh? Where'd you get that? Oh, a little horsefly action. What do you think, Bill? I think that he really wanted it. <laughs> he was running in the boat. You he think you're gonna real. quit bass fishing, turn into a bluegill guy? Come on, bluegill Bill. I don't wanna hurt these poor little guys, you know? Little? There's a hook set. And there's a donkey. Ooh. Check that Me out. like what I see? Yeah. Just jumbalicious, jumbalicious <laughs> all day. Jumbalicious? <laughs> Let's break that down for a second. Where'd you get that? What's jumbalicious? It's like jambalaya, jumbalicious. I like it. He's always coming up with interesting words. Last time he gave me chungaloon, this time he's giving me jungle, jumbalicious. What's next? No one knows. I'm another bluegill, I guess. Gotta get back in on the action, so no more filming Bill. Sorry, Bill. I wanted some big bluegill. I haven't had my fix yet. Oh my gosh. If I was built like this bluegill, I'd be six foot 10 and I would be freaking 472 pounds. These bluegill are something special, man. <sighs> something special. Oh, that was a heavy pull. That was a drag sound that I enjoyed. Oh my goodness, Billy. Billy the kid. <laughs> Look at this. Oh God, he's trying to wrap my rod. He's this pissing is... everywhere. I had it being on you. Yeah, it's fight. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, he got it on my GoPro. Ah. Yeah, is that P? Is that P? Do we know if that's P? I actually don't know. Oh, oh guys, it's just a nine and a half. Just is another small. God. Why? Why must you be nine and a half? How many nine and a halves in one day? Somebody order a beefcake and get your beefcakes here. Casual nine and a quarter. Oh, baby. What do you got? Bass. Back, back to the basics, baby. Another nine plus. Well, we just uh, paddled on over to what is going to be the last spot we fish for the day. 
if that 10 inch Donkey Kong is meant to be, it's gotta happen now. And if it doesn't, that's totally okay. We had ourselves one heck of a day. Uh, so we'll see what happens. What I need to really do is mentally note things about this lake that so potentially, sure. yeah, so lots of good sand and whatnot up shallow, but there's light lily pads, nothing like crazy. It's certainly not overly vegetated in here. Is that a word, vegetated? Not sure. Like I said earlier, I think it's like a nutrient rich lake. Mm. I think, you know, that slightly like tannic looking water, it's clear, but I think it just gets a lot of nutrients. So it's probably got a really good growing environment for zoo and phytoplankton, which ultimately feeds the entire food chain. Ooh, just missed one. Um, and these bluegill, obviously young bluegill feed pretty much extensively on zooplankton. Um, and then they get to the point where they're probably feeding on a lot of insect larvae, small minnows and whatnot. But insect larvae is really such a huge part of their diet. And so if there's little phytoplankton and whatnot that the uh, larger species that can feed on, there's going to be more of these guys. And this is a real nice one right here. This is a real nice one right here. Wouldn't that be something? That's a big one. Wouldn't That's that be big, something? That one. Wouldn't that be something? I can you safely can say this feels like my biggest fish for the day, but I could be totally it's wrong. The heaviest, I would say at least. It's a very it's large a fish. Yeah, it's a very large fish, my friend. Okay. How funny would that be? <gasps> oh my God, Bill, I did it. No I did it. This is the last spot. We're in the last five minutes. It's a 10 and a half incher. It's a 10 and a half incher. I'm about ready to freaking cry. I'm like, yes. yes. Oh my God. I didn't think it actually was. I'm shaking. I can't help. I'm sorry. I'm loud. I'm sorry. Get the net. I'm putting this fish in the water. We're getting a photo with it because this, I have worked my tail off for this no. fish. I didn't think it was. My friends, I, I am like, I don't even know what to say at this point because I've been working so long for this fish. And today we have weeded through so many eight to nine nine and three quarters and what do we have right here a ten and a half inch bluegill my friends this is what i came for this is this is it we did it we freaking did it the pursuit of the 10 has been accomplished i'm about to lose my mind i'm gonna go buy some pizza for me and bill <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> oh my god that's insane when you catch that many nines in a day like and then you see one that it's like wow it's a big one but you keep feeling the, the disappointment of measuring it and it says nine and a half, nine and three quarters. It's like, as much as that shouldn't be a disappointment, it's a disappointment when you have that one goal. And then to see this fish and then you measure it and it's 10 and a half and you're just like, but it, it feels like the same as all the other ones, but it happened. It, I, it's... Now my friends, the most important part of catching this fish, sending it home. <sighs> what a day. Bill, I gotta say, thank you very much. I'm just happy it all went according to plan, dude. I wanted to catch, you know, some big bluegills, but I wanted you to catch the 10 too. I'm glad I didn't do it because I would have felt bad. I wouldn't have felt that bad, but I would have low-key went home and been like, I hate Bill. <laughs> Freaking amazing, bro. Oh, thank you for taking me here. This was so, so worth the drive. Incredible. Send us home, Bill. There we go. All right. We that's know, our send-off. That's we'll, the we'll bill send-off. That boy right there. Not a very, that's actually one of the smallest bluegills that we've caught today, to be honest. That's my favorite way to end it's the video. It's in the bottom 10%. Whoa, so. what do we got here? <laughs> I'm going to go get a pizza. All right, Bill and I are getting pizza. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.